This is the U flute. Why U U? It's a molded plastic flute. It's not like a tube of PVC plastic that you get in a hardware store or that you see in plumbing pipe. It's a actual very heavy, solid piece of molded plastic, and uh, it changes shape. It look, of course, it looks like a flute on the outside. It's essentially phony, but it's really not about pretending it's a real shakuhachi. It's really about getting the exact inside shape of a shakuhachi. So the story is that in the 70s, uh, somebody got the brilliant idea of casting or exactly copying in plastic a master flute. And so, of course, what comes along for the ride is the appearance. And yeah, okay, it looks like a flute. It's got a nice curve. It's got the right number of, you know, details to make it nice. But really, it was made in a very dense kind of plastic. It's called an engineering plastic. And an engineering plastic is something that's what we call dimensionally stable, which means that it's not going to change size like bamboo or wood or, you know, leather or fabric, all kinds of materials change size constantly. Not this. This will always stay the original size and you can soak it in water, you can leave it in the sun and it will play beautifully and it will last. So uh, as long as you keep this edge nice and sharp and cover it, you'll be fine. In fact, you can get one used and it should be just ready to go. You can get them on eBay. I saw one uh, just yesterday for about $137 and that was new. And you can also order them from Japan, Meijiro, M-E-I-J-I-R-O. Dot com and you can get them there. I don't have any connection with these sales, but I think it's a wonderful flute. And I've had them over the years. Uh, they come in half, playing like that. And in fact, once I somehow lost the top, how does that happen? I, you know, it happens. You know, when you carry this flute around, um, you get to play it a lot more. I've had my, one of my U flutes stolen out of my car. Uh, you know what, but you see, I always carry the flute around and I'm not going to risk a $5,000, $10,000 flute going to the beach and, and or playing at a party. And so this is a wonderful thing to, to use. In fact, the, the joint here is made with such precision. It's a little wobbly, but then when you push it together, it snaps together very nicely. So uh, the engineering is so precise that I, I, I was once a plastic engineer. If I take my micrometer, and I see that it's, oh, it's uh, 0.975 inches here, but right where it goes over the edge and fits into the lower half, it's only 960, which means that it's really designed to be open and closed on a regular basis. It goes on loosely and then snaps tight. So there you have it. So um, now the big test is how does it sound? Here we go. Play softly and quietly. So you don't have to wake up your neighbors. And also, it has great dynamic range. That's why you would have a flute this heavy. In fact, um, how heavy is heavy? Well, bamboo weighs what it weighs. Uh, some strands of bamboo grow very solid because they're on the mountains, others are in moist areas and they're soft. This one comes in at 418 grams. So it's uh, not terribly heavy, but it's a solid piece of bamboo or an imitation of a solid bamboo. And so I would say that this flute is strongly recommended uh, by most professionals. Uh, it's glass fiber, engineering plastic, that's not going anywhere. And um, I would recommend you get one. In fact, the idea of carrying a flute around is that you'll be just inspired to pick it up and play it and fool around. And it's really the amount of time you spend blowing, blowing, and your fingers, you, you do the muscle memory. It all happens, and it, the practice shouldn't be something that you sit down, rigidly go through your music, and then you're done. Uh, no, it's something that really becomes part of your life. You always have it with you and you can practice for five minutes and that will actually improve your playing. But of course, 
you play as much as you want. And uh, I tend to share it with friends more if I have this flute with me and carry it around more. I was playing down by Wall Street and actually I bumped into Wynton Marsalis and uh, he actually jammed a little bit on camera. So, you know, who knows? Uh, this morning I was in the park and playing and a mother with her stroller, with a little boy came out and they wanted to listen to uh, the flute. And they didn't care that it was a shakalachi, but it was, I would not have had the flute if I had set up with my music to, pl to play and made a good production out of it. Yes, I practice, I, I get up music, I work in pieces, I try to advance my skills, but it's also important to have fun. So um, if you had a U flute, would you miss the sound of the bamboo, that mysterious sound? Well, you know what? You think you would, but after about a half hour, 45 minutes, I think you end up paying more attention to your technique and your breath. So you, so you don't always have to have the full subtle sound of the bamboo. So you, when you practice, it's a practice instrument. And if you're a musician, you may have a low quality practice instrument, maybe your very first instrument. Um, maybe that was damaged and repaired. Maybe it's not so presentable in a concert, but it's good to have a practice instrument around so that you can um, pay less attention to the instrument and more attention to your breath, your skills, and, and your studies. And so I would compare this to say, what could it be compared to? A PVC flute, a straight plumbing pipe flute. You may see that on some of my other videos. This is far more satisfying because it has a special resonance and the sound is shaped by the inner surfaces. You see, this is controversial. Uh, people will say, that's a wonderful sounding piece of wood. Well, is it the wood you're listening to as the wood vibrates? Or are you listening to the way the air is moving through that special shape? Some people say it's mostly the shape of the internal space that you hear. Other people say it's the quality of the wood that you hear. So this is not from the mountains, it's not from the valley, it's from an injection molding machine. But look at the richness of the sound. That's the U-Flute, and I encourage you to go look one up and get one, get started, and add it to your Shakachi collection, or maybe it's your first one. Thanks for listening. And uh, if you like any of these videos enough to watch another one, uh, you can think about subscribing to the channel. Uh, why not? And um, enjoy.